Thank you. And now on behalf of the Socialists and Democrats, uh, their President, Mr. Svoboda. President. President. Now, the Council is now going to have to deal with two very specific questions. And I don't think that they can uh, forget that we're living through a very visible crisis in Europe right now. We've got high unemployment rates, particularly for young people. People are saying that this is the uh, work experience generation or the uh, old age poverty generation. Poverty rates are increasing. The uh, uh, distribution of uh, it, wealth throughout society is becoming more and more unequal. If you follow uh, 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 the opinion surveys, people feel that they are leaving the uh, middle class. The French are talking about uh, a, a social elevator going downwards. Expenditure for health, education, etc. is always being cut. More and more people are expressing their concerns in opinion polls. They're saying that in future they don't expect to have a good life in old age. They don't expect their children to have a better life than them. And Europe is seen as part of the problem, not as part of the solution. I don't think we can simply sit aside and uh, allow that to happen. Recession hurts, but austerity kills. That's something that we've heard recently. Re austerity is killing jobs, social justice, and it is uh, destroying the uh, support for the European project. Is boom, not crisis, is the right time for austerity. We have to ensure that we uh, get a, an improvement in the situation. We can't simply deal with the uh, individual problems and try to find a solution one problem at a time. Rather, uh, we need to change the direction in Europe. And there's a major danger out there that even if we get growth, we might end up with growth without jobs. That's the challenge that we face. Well, hopefully we've got to get some growth back, but it needs to be accompanied by jobs. And that's uh, where I'd like to directly uh, uh, appeal to the Irish presidency. Now, Margaret Thatcher said, we want our money back. But... Thatcher said, we want the money back, which is in the tax oasis, Mr. Farage and Mr. Cameron. There is the money we want to have it back. Because it's unacceptable that one... <laughs> one thousand of billion of euro every day every year, and that means 2,000 euro per citizen is not invested in Europe, but is going to tax heaven and tax evasion. This is unacceptable. And isn't it a shame to the Irish presidency, even the ECOFIN Council, it is said, we have to ask the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists to supply us with the names and details regarding EU citizens on the offshore leaks. This is the obligation of, of the countries, of governments, of Europe. We need investigative journalists to get the money back. And that is very, very sad. So the citizens feel these journalists have more power or perhaps more willingness to fight tax evasion than the public authorities, and that is not acceptable. And I must say, in this case, the Commission was quite helpful because they took up the challenge some time ago and we have to support them. And therefore, I ask the Irish Presidency and the Council to listen very carefully and to read very carefully the reports of this Parliament, especially of Moitza Clever, because it says very clearly what has to be done, including also the blacklist of tax havens, where we have to sanction all the those who do business with this kind of tax havens. And that means also that Luxembourg and Austria finally have to agree to the full package of fight against tax evasion, including, of course, automatic data exchange. And that means also that Mr. Cameron not only should say to the islands, make your house and bring your house in order, he has to do his job to do it because he knows also perfectly well what Apple and others do or don't do. They do uh, business, but they don't pay the taxes where they do the business. So we have to fight against tax evasion. And this is also for the energy. Because again, the Council will speak about energy, but for years already this Parliament speaks, for example, to form an energy community. And the Commission President is right. 
We have to invest publicly and privately in order to make the energy market and the energy community workable. A bit, I'm a bit more cautious on the shale gas initiative. Whatever you do, do it with concern of the environmental question because we are much too more concerned about the environmental damage which could be the following. So, we come again to the question of investment. Yes, we need investment. We need investment especially for the younger generation. And I know it's not on the top of the council, but many discussions now about Europe is about youth unemployment, investment against youth unemployment. That may include energy policy. And if Mr. Mrs. van der Leyen is now turning around in Europe to do something positive on uh, unemployment uh, or against unemployment of the young, this is the good side because very often, unfortunately, the German government, like in the banking union, is more putting the foot on the brake instead of giving speed. But youth unemployment cannot be accepted as it is today in that amount. We have the money. The money is here and the money has to come from the tax evasion and the tax, uh, tax uh, havens. This is the policy we have to do. And therefore, I think there are two, two major tests, two major tests for the council and also, I must say, for the Irish presidency. Do we bring forward a budget which is really fighting youth unemployment? Are you ready to what is technically called front-loading to start now at the end of the year, to start in 2014 with enough money to fight youth unemployment? Because six billion for seven years is not enough. This is peanuts for the problem we have to fight, and therefore we need more money. Therefore we need more flexibility also in the budget. So for the coming budget negotiations, it's very, very important that the Irish president could forward in that direction. And the te second test, of course, is do we really have the courage and the willingness to fight tax evasion and tax havens? We need, and I fully agree with what this time the Commission president, we need a strong action, not only declaration, action to go forward, including, of course, of the directives which are necessary. Because I don't like that, again, we would have called the young people of today the generation of unemployment, the generation of part-time, and the generation of old-age poverty. Money is here. Let's use it to fight youth unemployment. Thank you. Vielen Dank. Thank you very much, Mr. Svoboda. On behalf of the Liberals and Democrats, we'll have hear from Mr. Verhofstadt. Thank you, uh, Chair, uh, Mr. President, that I'm asking myself, well, if it is so useful, this European Council tomorrow, uh, European